Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating a numerical expression. We have 21 to the power 63 divided by 63 to the power 21. And we're going to try to simplify this expression as much as possible. And at the end, I'm going to show you the numerical value from Wolfram Alpha. Alright, great, let's get started. So we have these two exponentials that are somewhat related, so they're in the form a to the b divided by b to the a, but not only that, the exponent is also 3 times the base. So we can also write this expression as x to the power 3x divided by 3x to the power x, which is also going to help you simplify this expression. Because what you can do is you can go ahead and expand. Since we have a common power, we can write this as a product of two powers and then just deal with this in different ways. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and do it numerically first and then we can go back to this and see what that looks like with variables. Okay, so we have 21 to the power 63 divided by 63 to the power 21. So one thing I can think of is maybe this will be the first method, I don't know, we'll see how that goes, but let's call it first method anyways. 21 and 63 are related. So 63 is a multiple of 21. So I could probably then write it as 3 times 21, right? And then raise it to the power 21. Now, I can go ahead, just like with the variables, I can go ahead and distribute to 21. In other words, if you're raising a product to a power, then that's going to be the product of power. So in other words, it's like this. AB raised to the power n is a to the n times b to the n. Make sense? That's what we're going to use. So 21 to the power 63 divided by 3 to the power 21 multiplied by 21 to the power 21. Awesome. Now, in order to be able to operate between these two, between these numbers, we either need the same base or the same exponent. So when I check, I notice that these two numbers have the same base, so I can basically combine them. So another rule applies if you divide a to the m by a to the n, you subtract the exponents, right? Division is done by subtracting exponents if the bases are the same. So this becomes 21 to the power 42 divided by 3 to the power 21. Let's go ahead and copy that here so we can simplify it further if possible. Now how do you simplify something like this, right? Again, there's different paths because I can make the bases the same or the exponents the same. So you can kind of call this 1a and 1b. Let's go ahead and simplify the base first. I can write the 21 as 3 times 7, and then raise it to the power 42, and then distribute the 42, sort of, and then use the 3s to simplify this, right? If you divide these two powers, you're going to get 3 to the power 21, times 7 to the power 42. Awesome. Is that the simplest form? We could probably combine these into a single base. So by simplifying, it means a lot of different things. But in this case, I, I guess it would be uh, having something like uh, x to the power y. Okay? That's it. Instead of uh, having a product like this. Or a quotient. So now, 21 and 42, 3 and 7 are not that much related, but 21 and 42 are. So 42 is 2 times 21. So I can basically write this as uh, follows. 3 to the power 21, and then this is 7 to the power 2 to the power 21. And at this point, we're going to use, a, we used an, uh, another property of exponents. Let me write that over here. It is a to the power xy is a to the x to the y or a to the power y to the x, okay? So now 2 times 21 is 42, that's how I was able to write it. And now 7 squared is 49. So now what I have is the same exponent, again using this property, right? They have the same exponent, so I can go backwards. And multiply these, the bases, 3 times 49 is I think 147 to the power 21 would be my answer in the simplest form. Okay, that's what I mean by simplest form. Okay, what about the, the B approach for this? Take it from here, 21 to the power 42 divided by 3 to the power 21. Remember, with the 1A, uh, we basically 
split the base. So this time we're going to use exponents. So I can kind of write this as 21 squared to the power 21 divided by 3 to the power 21. 21 squared is 441 and that's to the power 21 and this is 3 to the power 21. Awesome. We should arrive at the same thing and we do actually. This is another property if you divide a to the n by b to the n that's the same thing as a over b to the n. Okay? That's just another property of exponents. I guess I should also write this with n because to be consistent. So kind of like m and then n, this gives us a to the power mn. Okay? This, these are just properties of exponents that are super duper important. Okay. So now we have this property so we can divide the bases 441 divided by 3 to the power 21. And if you divide 441 by 3, you're going to get... 140 plus 7, which is 147. How I divided it is kind of broke it down mentally into this. And I know this one third of this is 140 because if you divide 42 by 3, you get 14. Anyway, that's my thinking. You can do it in different ways, but this gives you 147 to the power 21 as before. Obviously, you're always going to get the same answer no matter what you do if you're doing it correctly, right? Make sense? Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and take a look at another approach if there is any. Let's call that second method. And for my second, I'm going to start over with the original problem, 21 to the power 63 divided by 63 to the power 21. Now, remember, with the first method, we kind of broke down the base at the bottom, and then we tried to make the same base. In other words, our goal was to make the same base, because up until this point, they were the same, right? 1a and 1b. And then we just used the fact that uh, when you divide two powers at the same base, you subtract the exponents. Make sense? So this time, let's do things differently. Let's not use the bases. Let's use the exponents. How does that work? Well, here's the thing. To be able to use the exponents, I kind of have to turn this 63 into 21 because I have my exponent is 21 here. So I can do that because 63 is 3 times 21. I can kind of write this as 21 to the third power divided by, I mean, 21 to the third power to the power 21. I'm sorry, not divided by. Because 3 times 21 is 63. This should work. And now I got this. You may not know what 21 cubed is. I don't know what it is. So you can do the following. Since they both have the ex same exponent, I can kind of write it as 21 to the third divided by 63 to the power 21. And at this point, you can kind of simplify the inside. How? 21 cubed is 21 times 21 times 21. So let's write it that way. And then 63 is 3 times 21. And then the whole thing is going to be raised to the power of 21. A lot of 21s, right, in this problem. Okay. And then 21 cancels out. 3 goes into 21 7 times. And 21 times 7 is 147 to the power 21. And this brings us almost to the end of this video because I still have to show you the numerical value and then we're going to finish up. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical value from, from Wolfram Alpha to see how big these numbers are. So here's what the numbers look like when you divide 21 to the power 63 by 63 to the power 21. You get something that looks like this and it's 3 quatuor or decillion with 46 decimal digits and it's about... 0 0.000062 times the number of chess positions. Wow, that's crazy. Look at the number of chess positions. Anyways, let's go back and finish this problem up. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.